Hey guys, it's Chi Garangi here and let's talk about our INTJ communication styles and our robotism. I've noticed something in myself and other INTJ YouTubers and that is we all look unnatural, nervous and robotic in our expressions and emotions, movements and communication. It's almost as if we are robots trying to be human or to exude the characteristics of being a human. Personally, I really enjoy filming these videos, but somehow the recorded outcome is weird. In real life, I would be much more fluid and animated in my movement and expressions. Just overall being natural in the art of humaning. <laughs> so knowing that I look like a rock Sorry, I can't help that, apparently. <laughs> it's as if we and TJ have this unexpected style on camera. Being a rock. I'm going to digress a little bit here and say that sometimes I feel that I am Bella from the Twilight series. You know, the part when she gets turned into a vampire and when her dad comes to visit, she's told by the other vampires to blink more often and to move your body as if you're breathing. I feel like that sometimes, except it's me telling myself to be more human and to remind myself to not sit like a stone. <laughs> Anyways, it seems that INTJ's choice of communication style takes on various different and artistic turn in order to portray their feelings such as through writing, texting, drawing or painting, sculpting, moulding and knitting. These are all handy ways of giving someone a piece of us when we don't know how to describe what we're feeling and sometimes words fail us because we want to say more but we probably don't know how to so these methods of communication style helps us to channel our thoughts with clarity because when we speak our words would be or every single word would be non-linear, whereby we'll stutter and pause a lot. We also repeat ourselves for you to understand, as well as for us to make sure that what we are saying or explaining is correct. And as you've seen in my other videos, <laughs> I jump from topic to topic quite a bit and I hate this but my grammar is all over the place <laughs> my Englishing is terrible vocally but I'm trying guys <laughs> just bear with me try to overlook it thinking out loud isn't something that INTJs find natural. So when we talk, everything goes haywire. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, everyone can learn how to communicate with practice. We're not all born excellent communicators. Of course, though, communication comes natural to some, whereas others have to work hard at it. And that's okay, as long as you actively work at it. I'll admit it though, for some INTJs, what our brain thinks and what we actually say won't always be 100% in sync. But that's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. Here is a thing or two that I've learnt when practicing to communicate. Throw away the I can't do something because I'm an INTJ attitude. Because you are boxing yourself in with that excuse. And that's not going to do you any favours. Secondly, go into a conversation or a call with an open mind. Just know that what you say doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to over predict what someone else is going to say so that you have the perfect response ready. That's highly unnecessary. And I know it's difficult at first because we're so used to over analyzing other people and what possible things that they'll say and then we'll cater to that in a sense and it's difficult because our mind isn't going to be relaxed enough to be nimble but over time you just accept yourself to just say stuff and these stuff can be moronic which is very cringing but it happens the main point to remind yourself is that you can say whatever as long as you get your main point across so maybe along the way you may say really inconsequential things and you dib and dab everywhere before you even reach your main point. But at the end of the day, count yourself successful when you manage to get your point across. Of course though, with this method of saying whatever, or without this method, there'll be moments in an INTJ's life whereby they think of the best response to a conversation or topic a week later or a month later even a year later and that sucks so much damn it personally I'm less and less INTJ like when it comes to communication because I'm thinking of ways on how to improve and I'm one of those that probably sound mm, illogical in real life. <laughs> um, I'm just spewing my brain content and some things that I say might sound really weird because I'm not filtering my brain as much as I used to but that only depends on who I'm with so that has a major influence on how I function as a person I guess that's true for some INTJs or most INTJs because they naturally become themselves when they are around people that they respect. 
and so they feel more confident in being themselves and not being judged. Not that we care about being judged anyway. That sounded contradicting. Okay, <laughs> well, that's it for another video, and I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all later.